Up to this point, we've been talking about perfect competitive resource markets where workers have identical skills and the wage is set and there's plenty of firms hiring workers. Now it's time for a monopsony. 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 That's a fun word to say. A monopsony is a monopoly for labor. In this situation, there's only one firm hiring and they're a wage maker. So this upward sloping supply curve for labor shows how much people are willing and able to work for. At $1, not that many people are gonna go work for this company, but at $500, a whole lot more workers will. Now notice, the supply does not equal the marginal resource cost like it did back in a perfectly competitive labor market. Why? Because this monopsony cannot wage discriminate. When they're hiring one worker for $1, the additional cost of that worker is that $1 wage. However, if I wanna hire a second worker for $2, I can't keep paying the first worker $1 anymore and the next worker $2. I gotta pay both of them $2. So the additional cost of that second worker is the $2 I have to pay to get them, plus another dollar on the previous worker, I can only have paid $1. So the marginal resource cost of each unit is greater than the wage that they're willing to work for, the supply. Now let's figure out what the equilibrium wage and quantity will be for a monopsony. All firms hire the same spot, which is where MRP equals MRC, right, right there. That is the quantity of labor that this firm would hire. Now, how much are they gonna pay those workers? Well, they're gonna pay them the wage that the worker's willing to work for. In this question, it is $9. That's the wage. They're not gonna pay the worker the marginal resource cost because even though that's the cost to hire that worker, the worker's willing to work for $9. I'm gonna pay how much you're willing to work for. In a monopoly or in a monopsony, what they're actually doing is not what would happen in a perfectly competitive market. In this situation, the wage in a perfectly competitive market would be here, and the quantity would be here. They're hiring less workers than they would in perfect competition, and they're paying them less than they would in perfect competition. Story time! Unit five is done, it's time to relax, so here's the story. So one time my family and I decided to go camping. We went to Carlsbad, California. We spent a day or two at the beach, and then one day we decided to go to Legoland, then come back to the beach again. So we drive over to Legoland. The second we get in the parking lot, my son James starts to cry, saying how bad he has to go to the bathroom. I gotta pee, daddy, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, daddy. So we look around, we can't find any bathrooms, and so I look and go, oh, hey, yeah, use this. All right, put him in the car, and he goes and relieves himself in a bottle of water. So we go into Legoland, we have this great time, ride all the rides, and we finally get done about nine o'clock. So I'm driving the car, and the kids are in the back seat, super exhausted, and they're just whining. I'm thirsty, daddy, I'm thirsty, yeah, I want thirsty. I want some water. I'm thirsty, daddy. Now, not thinking much about it, I say, here you go, guys, drink this. The kids grab the water bottle, and it gets all quiet in the car. Until finally, my daughter Lindsay says, Daddy, this water tastes funny. No, 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 no. I was too late. Each one of them took a big swig of James P. I am the worst dad ever. Oh, man. Oh, salty.